Hi everyone, Alan from Darsky Realtor. Just wanted to give you a little bit of heads up on a few things that are happening this month. Um, June isn't the greatest month for any kind of astronomy because the skies unfortunately don't really get dark enough. But on June the 10th we do have an annular eclipse. Um, unfortunately we don't get to see the full annular eclipse here in the UK. Instead we get a partial solar eclipse on June the 10th which is well worth having a little look at and we do have uh, a video all about the eclipse um, back on our Facebook page and YouTube page as well. Now the main thing to look out for really during June, uh, I mean these kind of twilight skies, is one the Milky Way. Now the Milky Way isn't the best uh, because the skies don't get dark enough to show in its true glory, but it's still worth having a look. Uh, it can be quite a fun object to see, especially if you're near the coastal areas or up in the mountains on one of the peaks and, and looking towards the, uh, um, the horizon, you'll get a very nice view of it. But there are a couple of things that can be seen with binoculars. In particular, you've got globular clusters like the Great Cluster of Hercules, uh, M13, M92 in Hercules as well. You've got M4, which is uh, near the bright star Antares in the Milky Way. So you've got quite a lot of nice things to look at. But really, the main thing to, to actually watch this month is Noctilucent Cloud, or Night Shining Cloud. These are wonderful objects that can be seen along the northern part of the sky in the northwest and northeast just before dawn and uh, just after uh, sunset so you've got about an hour and a half to wait but they are worth, worth watch so good luck with your observing this month and um, hopefully july will be uh, better skies and uh, a little bit more hours of darkness